I'm Renjin with Let's Do Crypto, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a GPU cryptocurrency miner using just a regular computer like this and some graphics cards. So this is the parts list um, that I have so far. So I've got three of these RX 580s. Uh, it's an AMD uh, graphics card. And then I got three of these risers. It's a PCIe uh, e riser, and um, it just connects with the USB cable and this plugs into the PCIe port on the motherboard. And then this allows the graphics card to be outside of the case. And I'm just gonna set them right on top of the case. And then we'll just have the three graphics cards sitting on top running. So this is a super simple way to do this. And to keep things simple, we're just gonna keep Windows 7 right on here. And we'll just mine right on top of Windows. Um, so the nice thing about this, it already comes with a hard drive. I think it has like 16 gig of RAM. Uh, if we can see where that RAM is somewhere. Yeah, I think it has like, uh, I think it came with 16 gig of RAM, so that's cool. It has this, this video card, which I don't know much about, um, but we're probably not gonna be using it. I mean, we're not gonna be using it. And then it has four PCIe slots. There's one, this one's plugged into one, that's two, three, and four. Um, so you can have, can have up to four graphics cards mining on this, and it's nice. I mean, 100 bucks, you get a power supply that'll power the processor, the motherboard, everything. We'll be adding another power supply to power the GPUs. And then it already has the hard drive, the memory, the board, everything's already there. So basically we buy the tower, the risers, the graphics cards, and a power supply. Okay, so I pulled out the graphics card that shipped with this computer. Uh, so now we can see the four PCIe slots very clearly. And um, this is the configuration I put the, the GPUs in. So they're in the risers right now. They have a USB cable and then a power cable, like a SATA power cable. And I've just screwed them into a uh, piece of wood just like this. So they're just sitting here on the table now. But we'll, when we put the cover on this computer, we'll just set those cards right on top of the computer. This cord just goes around the back and it's gonna go right inside here and plug into uh, one of the PCIe slots. So we'll just plug in just like that. Okay, so I have the the bases of the GPUs plugged in here. So this is just that USB cable that's going to connect to the base of the GPU here. It's plugged in to the PCIe slots on the motherboard. And then we just need to close up the case. That's all we do for in here. Uh, we put the case back together. Great. And then we'll set these cards up on here, get the power supply up there, and we're ready to turn the computer on. So five minutes worth of setup. We just had the parts shipped right to us. Five minutes of setup and we're ready to get onto the software portion. This is what the rig looks like all set up. So it's just the regular computer tower that has its own built-in power supply. We have an external, this is a thousand watt power supply, which is actually more power than we need for just these three RX 580s. This external power supply is powering these three GPUs as well as the risers that they're plugged into. And then in order for the power supply to turn on, it's just terminated with one of these. It just has a jumper pin to make sure that's like the power switch for the GPU, uh, for the power supply, I mean. Okay, this is always the tricky part. So we've got it plugged in now. It's running, the computer's running, the power supplies are running, but Nothing that's coming out on the screen. So we try to use a different uh, GPU. See if that makes a difference. It's always a trick though. Um, we'll, we'll try next, so this is using DVI. We'll try to use the HDMI output. And then we'll have to unplug each card and try one by one, see if we get it to post. I actually didn't test this computer yet, so I should probably test and see if it'll post. Um, just going if it has onboard. I think it has onboard video. Oh, it doesn't. So that's the next step. All right, so I got it going. What I did, I just disconnected the USB port on the back of these two risers. So the computer is just detecting one graphics card right now. Active partition not found. Oh, look what they did. So they didn't actually send me a, an operating system on this computer. So I'm gonna have to reinstall Windows. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Uh, I'll grab that, uh, create a USB install media and install Windows on here. And then we'll continue.